Welcome back, first grade. Today we are going to read The Pyramid Pantry. We are going to review the five keys to health and brainstorm ideas about the word pyramid. We are going to explain the importance of a balanced diet and identify the food groups in a balanced diet. We are going to demonstrate an understanding of the word nutrients and the saying, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. And we're going to label and identify parts of an image to show the food groups in a balanced diet. Our key vocabulary are nutrients and pyramid. Nutrients is a noun, and nutrients are parts of food that provide the things your bodies need. Nutrients include minerals, vitamins, and water. Pyramid. Pyramid is also a noun, and a pyramid is a shape with triangular sides. At the beach, the children built a pyramid in the sand. Can you help me remember the five keys to health? What do we have? We had eating healthy, sleeping, exercising, keeping clean, and checkups, right? What's an example of eating healthy? What is something that is healthy to eat? Fruits and vegetables. What is an example of exercising? Running, lifting weights, playing soccer, stuff like that. What is, um, how much sleep do you need? 10 to 12 hours. How do we keep clean? What is an example of keeping clean? Washing our hands, taking a shower or a bath. And then what do I mean when I say checkups? going to the doctor each year to make sure that you're growing properly, right? So running and jumping are examples of which of the five keys to health? Exercising. Today's read aloud is called the Pyramid Pantry. When have you heard the word pyramid? Maybe in math class, maybe when talking about Egypt, okay? All right, we're going to start our um, read aloud, but I want you to remember our key vocabulary, nutrients and pyramid, and you're going to raise your hand whenever you hear those words. I also want you to listen carefully to see what types of food are served at this pyramid pantry. Hi, I am Chef Steph, a friend of Dr. Wellbody's. Welcome to my restaurant, the Pyramid Pantry. Dr. Wellbody eats lunch here every day. It is a very cool restaurant, if I do say so myself. Do you know what a pyramid is? It is a shape with triangular sides. My restaurant is shaped like a pyramid. The menu is like a pyramid too. The food we serve is delicious, but that's not all. It's nutritious. That means it's good for you. Have you ever heard of vitamins and minerals? They are nutrients that your body needs to stay alive. Nutrients are parts of food that provide things your body need. Nutritious foods supply your body with nutrients you need. They give you the energy you need to play and learn all day. They keep you healthy and help you grow. But not all foods have the same amounts of nutrients. Hey, guys, do you remember how nutrients are carried through the body? We talked about it um, a couple of stories ago. Your small intestine absorbs or takes those nutrients and sends them out into your blood, right? And then your heart pumps your blood throughout your whole body. So that's how your nutrients get all over your body. So which foods are the best for you? My pyramid menu is one way to help you figure all this out. The foods are divided into groups. Each group has a different colored stripe on the pyramid. So this orange stripe is for grains, like bread and cereal. The green stripe is for vegetables, like carrots and green beans. The red is for fruits, like apples and oranges. The yellow is for fats and oils, like butter and mayonnaise. The blue is for milk and milk products, like cheese and yogurt. OK. 
okay? Um, the purple is for meat, meat and beans, okay? Some stripes are wider than others. You should choose most of your foods group most of your foods from the groups with wider stripes because you need more of those foods to stay healthy. Each stripe gets narrower as it gets up the pyramid. That's because every food group has some foods that are better for you than others. There is one skinny yellow stripe on the pyramid. Do you see it? It's right here. Okay. It stands for oils and fats, like butter and mayonnaise. Why do you think this stripe is so skinny? You need to eat a little oil or fat every day, but not very much. Oils help you grow, keep you warm, protect your bones, and help your brain think, and help your skin and hair stay healthy. Some oils are better for you than others. For example, olive oil and canola oil are better choices than margarine and mayonnaise. What do I hear? Is all this talk food making your tummy growl? That's what happens when you're hungry. If you are very hungry, your legs might feel a little weak. You might even be a little bit cranky. These are signs that your body needs food. Time to look more closely at the pyramid menu. Grains are special types of grasses. Wheat, rice, oats, barley, and rye are all grains. Foods that belong to this group are either whole grains or refined grains. For example, bread is in the grain group. Some breads, like whole wheat bread, are made from whole grains. Other breads, like white bread, are made from refined grains. Refined grains have had most of their healthy parts taken out, whereas whole grains still have all the nutrients your body needs to grow. So, which do you think is better for you? Whole wheat bread made from nutrient-filled whole grains or white bread? Whole wheat bread, right? Whole wheat bread, brown rice, whole wheat spaghetti, whole wheat crackers, oatmeal, rice cakes, and popcorn are all good choices. Always choose smaller amounts of refined grain foods like white bread, white bagels, and cornflakes. And remember to choose only a little bit of sugary refined grain foods like cupcakes, donuts, and sweetened cereals. Too much sugar is not good for your body. Look at the picture and tell me what foods you think belong to the next group on the food pyramid. That's right, vegetables. Vegetables come in a rainbow of colors, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and white. Did you know that the color of a vegetable tells what it can do for your body? For example, dark green veggies like broccoli and spinach help build strong teeth and bones. Orange vegetables like carrots can help you see well. Fried vegetables like onion rings and french fries are less healthy for your body because they are cooked in oil and fat. So just remember to choose a rainbow of vegetables, raw or cooked, but hardly ever fried, and your body will get the nutrients it needs. Raise your hand if you like to eat fruit. Ooh, I sure like to eat fruit. Fruits are delicious and come in beautiful colors. Does anyone see one of your favorite fruits in the picture? Ooh, I love strawberries and apricots. Just like vegetables, it is important to choose a rainbow of fruits to get all the nutrients your body needs. The best fruits to choose are fresh fruits like the ones you see in the picture. Pineapples, oranges, bananas, grapes, pears, and blueberries. Dried fruits and canned fruits, jams and jellies, and fruit pies are all good too, but just don't eat too many of them. Can you guess why? That's right, because they often contain sugar. Look at this picture and tell me what you see. This is the milk group, but as you can see, it includes other things as well. Products made from milk, like cheese and yogurt. These things provide your body with calcium and protein, things it needs to make your teeth and bones strong and to help you grow. What system in your body 
do your bones belong to? Your skeletal system. So milk helps your skeletal system, right? It's best to choose low-fat milk and milk foods like skim milk, low-fat cheese, and low-fat yogurt. Eat fewer fatty or sweet foods like American cheese, frozen yogurt, ice cream, and milk shakes. Milkshakes. I don't know why I said that weird. The last group is meat and beans. Beef, pork, chicken, fish, and turkey all belong to this group. But look at the picture. Do you see anything that doesn't seem to belong? Yes, eggs and beans. So why are they there? They contain protein, just like meat. These different foods all work in the same way to help your body grow and move because they all contain protein. It's best to eat the meats grilled or roasted instead of fried in fatty cooking oil or butter. That means you should choose smaller amounts of fried chicken, chicken nuggets, hamburgers, and fish sticks. Now we have looked at all foods, or looked at foods in all six categories or groups included in the food pyramid. Can you name the six categories with me? We have grains, vegetables, fruits, oils and fats, milk and milk products, and meat, okay? The most important thing to remember is to eat a balanced diet. That means you must choose a variety of foods from each food group. Eating only grains or only meats will not provide your body with the nutrients it needs. Your body needs foods from each group on the pyramid to help it grow. Are you ready to order some healthy meals from Chef Steph's menu? Don't forget, it's important to eat three, that's one, two, three healthy meals a day and to eat healthy snacks too. For breakfast, how about oatmeal with some fresh strawberries? Adding a glass of orange juice is a healthy choice as well. So the oatmeals would be your grain. The oatmeal would be your grain, right? And then strawberries, that's your fruit. For lunch, may I recommend my roasted turkey sandwich with a lettuce and tomato on a whole wheat bread? How about some carrot sticks with yogurt dip, followed by an apple? A glass of cold milk is not only yummy in addition, but it's healthy as well. So we've got our grains, our vegetables, our fruit, our milk products, and our meats. That's a pretty balanced lunch right there. And for dinner, how about trying some of this three bean vegetarian chili with a baked sweet potato for dessert? Low fat pudding and peaches sounds perfect, doesn't it? That does sound pretty good. And you're still getting something a little sweet, but the sweet is still good for you. Snacking between meals is fine as long as you make healthy choices. Which would be better for your body? Ice cream or a low-fat yogurt with fruit? Low-fat yogurt with fruit. Potato chips or whole wheat crackers with cheese? Whole wheat crackers with cheese. A candy bar or an orange? An orange. Remember, healthy snacks will give you longer-lasting energy and a healthier body. That brings me back to my pyramid. Did you notice the stairs going up the side? Do you know why they are there? They are there to remind you to keep moving. It's very important not just to eat healthy foods, but to also be physically active every day. That means you should participate in skateboarding, swimming, riding your bike, climbing in the playground, or any other sport that you like to do. Keeping active helps keep you stay healthy the right it helps you stay healthy and the right weight for your body. It keeps your bones and muscles in good shape, and it makes your heart and lungs stronger. Heart and lungs stronger. <laughs> if you get into a good habit of having fun while you are moving, it'll keep you stay healthy for the rest of your life. All right, guys. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So I want you to go take a wiggle break, get a healthy snack if you need one, and then 
come back and we will do some comprehensions and word work, okay? All right, guys, what is the skinniest stripe on the food pyramid? The yellow one, which is the fats and oils. Why is it so skinny? Because you should only eat a little bit of those foods, right? Why are the stairs on the pyramid? Why are there stairs there? To remind us to exercise. Okay, so I want you to think about the types of food in each stripe on the pyramid and how much of each you should eat. Would a meal that would a meal that consisted of roasted chicken, green bean salad, and whole grain rice with a dessert of low fat frozen yogurt with strawberries be healthy? Yeah. Because it's all I mean, we've got our whole grain rice, which is not the refined, so that's healthier rice. We've got roasted chicken, so it's not fried. That's good. We've got green bean salad, so there's our vegetables. And then for dessert, we're having low-fat frozen yogurt, which is our dairy, right? And then we've got our strawberries, which is our fruit. That seems pretty balanced to me. Okay. Now... In my read aloud, you heard the word, or you heard the, there, in my read aloud, you heard they are nutrients that your body needs to stay alive. I want you to say the word nutrients with me. Ready? Nutrients. Can you whisper the word nutrients? Nutrients. Can you say it in a mouse voice? Nutrients. All right, guys. Nutrients are parts of food that provide the things your body needs. Your blood carries nutrients through your body. All right, let's see. Let's do our activity part for our word. So I'm going to name some common foods and drinks that you might like. And I want you to say that contains a lot of nutrients if you think it contains parts that provide your, the things your body needs. Say that does not contain nutrient, a lot of nutrients if you think it does not provide your body with the things it needs, okay? So spinach salad. That contains a lot of nutrients, right? Because spinach is really good for you. That is vegetables. What about candy? That does not contain a lot of nutrients, right? That's too much sugar. What about three bean and chicken chili? Mmm, yummy. That does contain a lot of nutrients, right? It's got beans and chicken. And probably some vegetables in there too. How about an orange? That does contain a lot of nutrients, yes. And what about American cheese? That does not contain a lot of nutrients, right? We want, in, when we're in our milk um, and milk products stripe, we want to make sure that we are eating um, low fat or uh, only a little bit of milk products that are not low fat, okay? All right, guys, awesome, awesome job. I am, oh, I almost forgot. We have to talk about the phrase, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. So, the, an apple a day keeps the doctor away came there is a proverb and it is another way of saying that if you eat healthy foods like apples every single day then you're not going to get sick a whole lot and if you're not sick a whole lot then you don't need to go to the doctor right i mean you have to go every now and again to make sure that you're growing and that you are healthy but if you eat healthy foods then you probably won't get sick all the time and then you won't have to go to the doctor all the time. So that's all that means, okay? All right, guys. Talk to you later.